Good morning, my dear students. How are you all? I hope that all of you are fine and healthy. So, students, today we are going to start something new, and today we are also going to learn something new. And the name of today's topic you have already guessed, or you have already come to know about that topic, as the name of the topic that you can see on the screen of your mobile phone and laptop. So, what you can see right now on the screen. subject verb agreement and why do subjects and verbs have to agree do you have any answer students after all they are only words then why do subjects and verbs have to agree we will just come to know the answer by looking at this examples students can you find out any thing wrong with this sentences just have a look There is too many pictures on the wall. Is there anything wrong? Or in this sentence, can you find out here also any problem or anything wrong? Everybody, but or everybody, but Julio wants to go home. Or this one, all the people wants to win the lottery. What's wrong with the sentences? Here the subjects and verbs don't agree. Yes, the words written with the deep pink color. These are your subjects, and the words written with your light pink color. These are the verbs, and here the subjects and verb they just don't agree. So how do we fix them, or how do we make it correct? There are too many pictures on the wall. Yes. a plural subject pictures plural subject goes with a plural verb yes the words written with the deep pink color these are the subjects as you can see plural subject pictures and plural verb are okay words written with light green color these are verbs everybody but julio wants to go home everybody this is the singular subject everybody means each and every person goes with a singular verb okay a singular subject goes with a singular verb wants singular verb okay so to be correct the subjects and verb must agree they must agree in number okay singular subjects take singular verbs except for the words you and i okay everybody wants to or everyone wants to win the lottery as you have seen in the previous example also that everybody but julio here also everyone wants to win the lottery so plural subjects take plural verbs all the players want to win the game all the players here all the players plural subject and that's why verb that is also plural want to win the game so agreement can only be achieved in the present tense okay never use past tense for the subject verb agreement So now we are going to get a definition about this subject verb agreement. So what is the subject verb agreement? Then we have already come across several examples. We have seen some of the examples. So now subject means the part in a sentence which names the person or thing we are speaking about, or who is doing the action, or who is going to perform that action. And verb is a word used to express an action or state. Verb means as we already know action words so subject verb agreement simply means the subject and verb must agree in number in other words the verb must agree with the subject in number and person okay so the verb must change in agree with the number and person now we are going to learn some basic rules in subject verb agreement okay basic rules in the sense we have to learn that after which subject we have to put which verb okay so just get ready to learn those basic rules we have already come across several examples where we have already seen that a singular subject if your subject is singular then generally it demands for a singular verb like everybody wants to win the game okay or everybody wants to be winner and if your subject that will be plural your 
verb also become plural yes so here are the rules a verb must agree the first and foremost and very much important rule this one is a verb must agree with its subject in person and number so what do you mean by or what do we mean by person person means three persons are there in english first person second person and third person and be very careful in case of third person third person singular number like he she it a singular subject always takes singular verb we have already seen in the previous examples that if your subject is singular then the, your verb basically will become or your verb basically singular but pronouns you and i always require the plural form of the verb even in the cases where they refer to only or to one and only or to only one in the previous examples or in the previous slides also i have shown that except you and i so what is the meaning of except you and i means in this cases for the pronouns you and i you have to just be careful writing whenever you are going to write the verb so pronouns you and i always require, require the plural form of the verb okay even in cases where they refer to only one or to one and only for example jane you need to listen attentively jane naming word then a comma you need to listen attentively you if here the only jane is here then you we have to write needs but as we have written you here that's why need you refer to or you require plural verb students you need to listen carefully students so many students you that's why need i need to finish my work today after i whenever you are going to use main verb need this is the main verb you have to put it in case of present form in case of present tense you have to put it in the plural form i need singular pronouns take singular verbs and plural pronouns take plural verbs she is a diligent worker she singular pronoun referring to only one person that's why singular and plural they referring to so many people or so many persons referring to plural pronoun that's why they are diligent workers he wants to be rich he singular pronoun we want to be rich we plural that's why want and he third person singular number that's why with the main verb want we have to add s he wants to be rich now four number rules or rule number 4 indefinite pronouns are singular now which are indefinite pronouns we have to learn each nobody everyone either or or neither nor or you can say anybody someone somebody everybody they always take the singular form of the verb so each anybody nobody everybody somebody okay these are all indefinite pronouns okay and indefinite pronouns are singular or they require a singular verb they always take the singular form of the verb and you will also learn it in a better way whenever i will show you or i am going to show you some examples then you can understand everyone is required to attend the workshop everyone here everyone means each and every person one person each and every person means one one person or one person that's why is singular verb somebody knocks on the door somebody means it can be any one person knocks that's why we have to add s with the present form of the main verb knock no one was absent during the examination yes no one was absent during the examination no one means 
nobody was absent so now what we have learned today the lessons that we have learned today okay in the beginning of the video we have seen that picture where that was written that why do subjects and verbs have to agree after all they are only words so from that picture till rule number 4 we have learned several things right students we have also seen several incorrect sentences where the subjects and verbs they don't agree and after that we have also fixed them we have also made that incorrect sentences the correct one by just simply making the verbs agree with the subjects or the or making the subject and verb agreement correct okay so we have learned so many things we have learned some basic rules basically today we have learned only four rules so a singular subject takes a singular form of the verb while a plural subject takes a plural form of the verb so only four rules we have learned today and after that after this video we will learn so many other rules where we will also come to know so many other things or so many other interesting facts about this subject verb agreement so in case of this basic rule what we have learned the basic point or the most important thing we have learned that is the singular subject requires singular verbs just have a look a singular subject usually doesn't end in s yes just have a look at the first example the student this is the singular subject and that's why this singular subject doesn't end in s usually doesn't end in s singular verb but if the verb is singular then it does end in s just look at the second example the teacher speaks to the class so both the example student and teacher both singular subjects but the verb they are also singular verb but they end in s so singular verb usually end in s and singular subject they usually doesn't or singular subjects don't end in s like teacher student yes so a verb changes whenever its subject changes in number and person yes this is completely a true fact okay you have to always remember this fact that your verb must change or your verb is bound to change whenever its subject changes in number number in may a number in the sense singular number or plural number and person person means like first person second person third person so your verb is bound to change or you have to change your verb or your verb must agree with your subject or your verb changes whenever its subject changes with sub number and person so now the girl girl singular subject no s on the subject okay as i have said that singular subject as girl this singular subject girl doesn't end in s but the verb in case of present tense the verb that we use the main verb that we use that ends with s as you can see s on the verb the girl dances i hope you have understood what i am trying to say or what is the easiest way to learn the rules of subject verb agreement okay singular subject and that's why there is now the subject girls just have a look girls girls do you think it's singular subject no girl this one is singular subject but whenever you are going to add or you have added s with girl it become or it becomes plural girl plus s it becomes girls and that's why so many girls means plural and whenever your subject becomes plural as girls s on the subject at the end s and that's why no s at the end of the or in the end of the verb the girls dance so plural subject 
that's why plural verb so generally if the subject doesn't so what we have learned in the previous examples generally if the subject doesn't end in s the verb will yes if the subject doesn't end in s means singular subject the verb will end in s like the student listens but if the subject does end in s but if the subject does add end in s like the girls the verb won't the girls dance i hope you have understood and in this way the subject and verb agree okay in case of number like singular number plural number if there is no s at the end of the subject like girl that is singular and if s girls plural so you have to practice this one let's practice as then you can understand that how much you have learnt he talk or talks quietly they read or reads their assigned books kim name of any person third like third person singular number this one i have already told go or goes to the coffee shop every weekend we write or writes letters for our friend abroad ian this is not i am this is ian name of one person sing or sings well so don't confuse it or don't misunderstand it as i am this is actually a name number 5 this is actually a name ian now rule number 2 compound subjects joined by and means compound means so many subjects if there are two or more subjects and those are joined by and the subject must be plural so the verb will not or won't get an s okay or any s no s on the verb the boy and girl so many persons and that's why this become compound subject as so many persons boy and girl okay dance no s on the verb so this that's why you have to remember this fact that if the compound subjects or if the two or more compounds are joined by f they require a plural verb okay like the boy and the girl dance now let's practice a car and a bike is or are my means of transportation the dog and the cat run or runs around the house kim and i spent or spends our free time reading books the teacher and the students was or were able to present something last moved day okay the math book and the notebook provide or provides information about the lesson okay so i hope you can do it and please solve this exercises in your language copy and after solving this exercises please send it to me and you will also get this exercises in your uh, website this exercise will be available from friday morning okay so here also you have to do this exercise subject verb agreement was or were a verb should always go with the naming part i mean the subject of the sentence with he she it or i it will be was and you we they were okay i hope you can do it so i dash tired after a five more i dash tired after a five mile run they dash singing and dancing at the party she dash with her friend at the park we dash ready for the summer vacation or <clears throat> there are several more examples or several more exercises that you have to do now this one write the form of the verb that agrees with the subject the first one that has already been done the children dash as children plural form that's why collect pokemon cards angela dash catch up on her eggs to put so if there is to put you have to put write the correct form of the verb he dash that i am nice i am a nice friend to think they dash home after school to walk we dash water instead of juice it's better for us i dash with my mother every day to talk 
you does excellent spaghetti sauce and all those exercises you have to and all those other examples those were given over there you have to do it and you need not to write it directly from youtube you will get all these all these exercises in a pdf file and that pdf file will be available okay in your school website you can download it tomorrow okay so from tomorrow you will be able to download it so you can write it from you can write all these exercises from there also i hope you have understood we have only learned some basic rules basically four rules we have learned we will also learn some more rules but first of all solve this exercises if you have any problem to understand this topic please tell it to me without any uh, please tell it to me without any hesitation thank you very much to all of you have a great day